guys um so this is gonna be truly a very quick lesson like a five minute lesson and this is on how to use the curvature tool we are going to create the batman symbol so i want to show you how easy it is to take uh something with lots of curves in it and um and redraw it so you will go to your folders and you will see that there is a file ready for you it is already in an illustrator document and there is a photo for you of um, of the Batman symbol so I'm going to set mine up um, you'll notice that when you get to yours it is 8 by 5 inches tall it is in a landscape direction um, I'm gonna name this yours is already named but you can certainly add your name to it um, yours will say Batman symbol and then just add your name so i'll put mrs cook video um ready to go um so when you get to yours you will notice that there is already a batman symbol there i am going to place mine so if you ever want to place something so you can do this on your own all you do is hit place and you find the either ping or jpeg image uh, just a raster image of what you want to trace so here's my batman symbol you can see it's a raster image you can see how pixelated the edges are uh, i'm going to rather than size it uh, by scaling i'm simply going to lock the proportions and since i know that my um, space here is eight inches wide I'm gonna make it six inches wide that way I have space for adding uh, a few touches to it and actually six is a little small so let me hold my shift key I'll make it just a little bigger um, yours will be just right so you don't have to worry about it but again if you ever choose to do something like this I want you to know what to do so it turned out that I made this into almost six and a half inches and that gives me space for adding the final lips so I'm going to go to my layers now and this image is just going to get locked in place so I'm just going to lock it and um, if I want to name it, I can just call it uh, original. All right. Uh, I'm going to need to create my artwork. So I'll name this artwork and I'm ready to go. All right. So you would think that making all of these curves would be really hard, but the truth is it's, it's not really hard at all. You're going to go to this tool. This is your curvature tool. You are going to hold down the alt key. It is of vital importance that you hold down the alt key since i'm using a mac i'm holding my option key so once you once you get there you might even before you get started check your fill get rid of the fill because you're going to have to get rid of it at some point so it might be better just to get rid of the fill now so that all you have is a black line all right so i'm ready to get started Here's my curvature tool. I'll click on the curvature tool. Hold down the Alt key. Very, very important. Hold down the Alt key. Um, as you do, just click on points, okay? And as you click on points, you will see straight lines. If you are not holding your Alt key, you will not get straight lines. You will get curved lines, and you will get very confused at first because the lines will be very strange looking um, so just keep that alt key um, held down as you go from point to point to point okay and then when you're done if you hit your return or if i hit the deselect button it should um, unlock this for me
there we go. All right, so for whatever reason, it wanted to put the white back in there. So I'm gonna, oops, hit my select tool and um, select this and get rid of that white in there. So now what it looks like is this, and if you wanna see this line in a different color so that you can see what you actually have, let me go to properties. And again, if I change that stroke to say red, now I can see what I've actually got. Okay, so I've created this very, very straight shape. Now I'm gonna go back to my curvature tool. This is where it becomes really interesting. And all I have to do is click somewhere on one of these lines and a point will occur. And you can move this in whatever fashion you need to so that it adheres to the Batman symbol, okay? And if I grab here, that first curve is perfect, okay? So I'll start here in the middle. When you click, you'll notice a point occurs and kind of slide, you know, slide your, your um, curvature tool to see where you're going to get the best fit. You can add as many points as you need to this. So when I get here, clearly the curve did not um, fit. It wants to kind of do its own thing at a certain point, but you can continue to go in and add points which will correct the curve that may be there. All right, so here again, I'll start in the middle and I will take it to a place where I know that it's lined up perfectly. Let go. Um, I'll need another point. I'll add a point here. I'll let go. Here, there's just a little bit. I'm a perfectionist, so I'll probably want to fix that. I'll go to my last section here. Decide where the best place is to start off. Maybe I'll start here. That gives me a nice um, curved edge there. I'll add another point here. That works out pretty well. When I do that, it did affect this slightly, so it's not a big deal. I just add another point. I will make this fit the image perfectly. All right, here this one might not be as tricky because it's such a, a big wide curve. So when I move that, I get a nice edge, but since there's a little bit of the black not showing here, I'll just go ahead and pick up a little here too. That lifts it, pick up a little here, and I feel like that's pretty perfect. Um, go ahead, maybe do the other side. And again, you can, you can start the point anywhere you want. If you need to bring it in a little bit, you just bring it in. I'm simply using the curvature tool. I haven't had to pick up any other tool. I didn't have to add any anchor points. Um, I really just used the tool itself. Now here it's doing some weird things, but that's okay because as long as I have the ability to control how many points I add, I will make this fit my needs. So you see how easy that was to kind of fill in there, here. Um, I might start over on this side bring this down and I guess it just depends on how perfect you want it to be but you can always like I said drag these two so if they're not exactly where you want them to be just kind of shift them around a little bit um, I'll start one here I'll get that little edge 
right next to his ears. Now that's going to have to come in some more, but I'll wait until after I kind of get that edge in there. This may be my last point. I'm not sure. Doesn't look like it. I'll probably add one more right here. Okay? And I'll drag this one in slightly. So, using that curvature tool, I was able Here's me being very, very perfect. All right, I was able to um, outline that entire Batman. So I'm going to go to select, deselect, and the red line is there. If I go to my layers panel, I can um, hide the original Batman. So now the original Batman is gone. I don't see him anymore. Here's my Batman. My Batman is going to be fully black, so I'll go to my properties, I'll go to fill, and I will select black. Um, again, it helps if you s go to your selection tool first and then try that, otherwise nothing happens. Now we have Batman in black. I don't need I don't need the outline, so I'll get rid of that. All right, so there's Batman, Bat Batman symbol. He's all ready to go. Um, all you have to do at this point is, um, all you have to do at this point is add another layer, and I'm going to place it in between because it's going to be behind the artwork. And I'm just going to call it background. And all I want is an ellipse. So I will, whoops, not hold the shift key. <laughs> I will create an ellipse. The ellipse right now is black. It's making it very difficult to see. So if I go to properties, get rid of the fill for now. And um, as for the stroke, I'll make that black so I can see it. Um, I'll adjust this ellipse. That works out pretty well. Try to get it so that it kind of surrounds your Batman. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I want that stroke to be a little bigger. Four points seems pretty good. Five points seems pretty good. Um, the fill is going to be some version of yellow. Okay. And when you have your Batman made, uh, you can uh, deselect. And he's done. And you've just you created him using the curvature tool. And there are certainly other things you could try using the curvature tool, um, but it's kind of a simple tool to use. So uh, I'm going to save this and you give it a try.